What is going on? My name is Abu and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to develop your skills in HTML, CSS and JavaScript from the ground up to the expert level, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. In this lecture, I'll teach you simple techniques and rules to specify the file path properly. You also learn what is relative file path, what is absolute file path, and what is the difference between relative file path and absolute file path. But before we continue, just pause the video and please download the HTML project for this lecture. You can find the link in the description below. Here on the left, I opened up the HTML project called file path example using Visual Studio Code. Inside the project folder, first we have a folder called grandparent. Inside the grandparent folder, we have a folder called parent and one image file called grandparents.png. It looks like this. Inside the parent folder, we have a folder called I am and one image file called parents.png and it looks like this. Inside the I am folder, we have a folder called child and one image file called I am.png. It looks like this and one HTML document called index.html. Inside the child folder, we have an image file called child.png and it looks like this. Now, I'll close the child folder and open up the index.html file. Starting from line 14, I have marked up four sections. And every section have a section title marked up with h2 and an image tag with an empty source attribute. So the image file path is missing. So in this lecture, you'll specify the relative file path for the image in every section that is mentioned in the section title. Here on the right, I opened up the same HTML document using Google Chrome, and it looks like this. Now the question is, what is relative file path? A relative file path means the file path starts from the location of the file we are linking from and point to other file in the same folder or other folder. And the location of the pointed file is always relative to the location of the file we are linking from. Let's write some code and see how it works in practice. So let's start from the section 1. In this section, we need to specify the relative file path for the image file called im.png. To specify the relative file path, you need to answer those three questions. Is the file you want to link in the same folder with the file you want to link from? Is the file you want to link in the parent folder? Is the file you want to link in the child folder? So in this case, the index.html file and im.png file are both in the same folder. So the relative file path to the im.png file looks like this. Starting with dot forward slash, this means current folder, and then we put im.png, im.png. So this relative file path means that link to the im.png file from the im folder. Now I'll save this, refresh the page, and as you can see, the image file called im.png is now displaying in the browser. We can also remove the dot forward slash. It also means they are in the same folder. So I remove this, save, and refresh the page. As you can see, the image is still there. So that is how we specify the relative file path when the file you want to link to is in the same folder with the file you want to link from. Now let's go on to the section 2. In this section, we need to specify the relative file path for the image file called child.png. And in this case, the child.png file is in the child folder of the im folder. So the relative file path to the child.png looks like this. Starting with dot forward slash, this means current folder. And after that, we put child forward slash. This means go into the child folder. And finally, we put child.png. So this relative file path means that start from the current folder, go into the child folder, and then link to the child.png file from there. Now, I'll save this, refresh the page, and as you can see, 
the image file called child.png is now displaying in the browser. So that is how we specify the relative file path and the file we want to link to is in the child folder of the current folder. Now let's go on to the section 3. In this section, we need to specify the relative file path for the image file called parents.png. If I click this parents.png file, as you can see from here, the parents.png file is in the parent folder. And it's one level up parent folder of IM folder. So the relative file path for the parents.png looks like this. Starting with dot dot forward slash. This means go one level up parent folder of IM folder. And after that, you put parents.png. So this relative file path means that start from the current folder, go one level up into the parent folder, and then link to the parents.png file from there. Now I'll save this, refresh the page. And as you can see, the image file called the parents.png is now displaying in the browser. So that is how we specify the relative file path and the file we want to link to is in the parent folder of the current folder. And finally, in this last section, we need to specify the relative file path for the image file called grandparents.png. If I click this grandparents.png, as you can see from here, the grandparents.png file is in the grandparent folder. And it is two level up from IM folder. So the relative file path to the grandparents.png file looks like this. Starting with dot dot forward slash. This means go one level up from IM folder. And after that, we put another dot dot forward slash. This means go two level up from IM folder. And finally, we put grandparents png so this relative file path means that start from the im folder go to level up into the grandparent folder and then link to the grandparents.png file from there now i'll save this refresh the page and as you can see the image file called grandparents.png is now displaying in the browser so that is how we specify the relative file path when the file we want to link to is in the grandparent folder of the current folder or two level up from the current folder. Now, let's recall and list all the key things you need to remember when you specify the relative file path. Dot forward slash. This means current folder. You can use this to specify the relative file path and the file you want to link to is in the same folder with the file you want to link from. Dot forward slash child forward slash. This means go to the child folder from the current folder. You can use this to specify the relative file path and the file you want to link to is in the child folder of the current folder. Dot dot forward slash. This means go one level up from the current folder. You can use this to specify the relative file path and the file you want to link to is in the one level up parent folder of the current folder. Dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash. This means go two levels up from the current folder. You can use this to specify the relative file path when the file you want to link to is in the two levels up parent folder of the current folder. Now, the next question is, what is absolute file path? An absolute file path means the file path always starts from the root element or root folder and includes all the folder list to locate the file. If you are also using Visual Studio Code, you can get the absolute file path like this. So if I want to get the absolute file path of this im.png file, I'll just right click and select copy path. But in case you are not using Visual Studio Code and your code editor does not have the option to copy the absolute file path, you can find the absolute file path like this. So this is the im.png file we used in our HTML project. To get the absolute file path, I just right click and select properties. And then find the location property. And its value is the absolute file path of this file. So that is how we get the absolute file path on Windows. If you have different operating systems, 
Please check the description below for more instructions on how to get the absolute file path on different operating systems. But in my case, I'll just use Visual Studio Code. So I'll close this and get back to the editor and right click that im.png file and then select copy path. Then I'll just replace the relative file path for im.png with its absolute file path. Okay, so that is how the absolute file path looks like for im.png on my Windows. It starts from the root of my computer's C drive and it contains all the folders until it gets to the im.png file. Now I'll save this, flip back into the browser, refresh the page, and as you can see, the image is still displaying with its absolute file path. But this doesn't mean that you can always use absolute file path which starts from your computer's root folder like this because it only works on your own computer. So if you want to link an external file from your computer to your project, the best practice would be first copy the external file into your project folder and then specify the relative file path properly. But there is another type of absolute file path that you can definitely use in your HTML project. It is so-called full URL link to an external file. For example, here I am on a web page called onsplash.com from here, I'll select this image and right click. After that, I'll select open image in a new tab. This will open this image on a new tab with its own full URL link like this. So this URL is the absolute file path to this image. You can also call this a full URL link to this image. Now let's copy this full URL link of this image and try to display it in our HTML project. I'll just right click, copy, flip back into the editor and replace the relative file path of im.png with it. Now I'll save this, flip back into the browser and refresh the page and as you can see the image from the external web page is here. Now let's recall and list all the key things you need to remember when you specify the absolute file path. Rule number one, don't use the absolute file path which starts from your computer's root folder like this because it only works on your own computer. But if you want to link a static file from your computer to your project, the best practice would be First, move the static file into your project folder and then specify the relative file path properly. Rule number two. You can of course feel free to use the full URL link to an external file from other web pages like this, but make sure it's accessible. Okay, so that is how we specify the relative file path and absolute file path. If you started learning HTML and you want to master when and how to use every different HTML tag, Make sure you check out this playlist and it has everything you need to master different HTML tags. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.